Ever since I started my journey back into reading fiction, the one series that I've been seeing people obsessing over is the Akatar series. It's everywhere. So finally, last month, I decided to read it and find out what the hype was about for myself. And I loved it. Now I'm here to take you along for the second book, A Court of Mist and Fury. And I am so excited you guys do not even understand. I have my PJs on, my Target PJs. I have my hair clipped up. I am ready. I'm ready to begin reading A Court of Mist and Fury. And I'm so excited because we left off on, not a cliffhanger, but there were definitely a lot of questions at the end of Akatar. So I'm so excited to be starting. What is this one called? I think it's Akamar. I know, Ak Akamoff. So here we go. So I don't remember what happened at the end of the first book, but Tamlin and Feyre are engaged. Like this isn't like a surprise, but Feyre is super impacted by what happened. Like it's almost as if she has no joy anymore. Um, she's waking up in the middle of the night with nightmares. She doesn't want to do any wedding planning or celebrating. She doesn't want to paint. It's just like what she had to do when she was under the mountain, when she was forced to like put those daggers in those people's hearts, just changed her so much. I'm gonna make a small prediction. And my prediction is gonna be that Ryzen, even though she hasn't heard from him for months since after they made that agreement, I just feel like he's gonna show up and come and take her away. Um, and the thing is, he's the only one that she opened up to about, you know, feeling how she felt after she had to kill those people, so. I just feel like he's gonna show up out of nowhere. So it's the wedding day and Feyre is hating literally every minute of it. But Feyre is having a literal meltdown at the wedding. She literally stopped as she was walking down the aisle and Tamlin's waiting for her and she is freaking out. Oh my God. Literally Rice showed up at the wedding. What is happening? I can't believe that this man Ryzen had the nerve to show up at the wedding. And now I'm wondering, like, was she feeling that way because Ryzen was coming for her? Like, and he was, like, somehow communicating with her? Like, I don't know. Like, you know, because when under the mountain, he somehow could communicate with her because of the eye tattoo. Oh my god, I was right. It says, was I interrupting? I thought it was over. Rice gave me a smile, dripping with venom. He knew, through that bond, through whatever magic was between us, he'd known I was about to say no. At least Vera seemed to think so. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew that that bond had to be in use and that's why he showed up. What the heck? Ryzen, whatever little bond he has going on between them, he literally knows her every thought. All of her private thoughts. Not favorite throwing her shoe at the back of Rice's head. So I just got to the end of chapter 5 and Rice tells her that like for the first week he wants her to learn how to read. I don't know, I I kind of like Rice. I think that even though he's supposed to be this like scary a-hole, he is so good to Feyre. Like he has saved her when he literally didn't have to. So it'll be interesting to see how this develops. But yeah, I'm tired. So I'm gonna stop here um, and I'll pick up tomorrow with chapter six. But so far this is so good, I'm loving it. And I'm about this much through so still have a lot to go but your girl is sleepy and so i'm going to sleep good night it's the next day and it is 8 01 i'm just going to get a good 30 minutes of reading in because i have to know what happens next i stopped at such a good point where Thera and ryzen are sitting down and they're gonna have a conversation so I gotta know what happens next. So before I get my day started, I'm just gonna take 30 minutes to read. Let's get to it. <laughs> I had the first teaching lesson and Ryzen wrote, you look absolutely delicious today, Feyre. And she's like, that's what you wrote? <laughs> oh my God, I just love the like, you know, their enemies, the banter and all that. It's just so funny. So the tithe has just happened and there was the water wraith who couldn't pay her debt. 
So Tam Lenny you know, told her, like, you have three days to make it up. And it pissed Feyre off because Feyre knows, of course, like what it's like to be hungry, to have nothing. And so she went out and gave her all of her jewels and everybody was like, why would you do that? But anyway, that happened. They had the argument about it. But the crazy part now is that they're now making up after the argument that they had at dinner over that whole situation with the wraith and the tithing and everything. Tamlin gives her the gift of the painting materials and he hopes that like it'll help her through the nightmares that she's been having. And she's like, what's gonna help me is like letting me help you. Like, please let me help you. And he's like, no, like you will be killed. And she's like, then marry someone who can put up with this. And I'm like, Okay, Tamlin did not like that. He just literally blasted the room apart. My God. Ooh. So much has happened. Oh my God. Between Tamlin putting the shield up and trapping her inside, her like literally having a panic attack and Rice coming and rescuing her. Oh my God. Guys, I don't know who to love. I don't know whether to love Tamlin or whether to love Ryzen, but Ryzen is growing on me. Okay, he's growing on me. This is crazy. This is crazy. They were staying at the night court. She left the spring court and now she's staying at the night court. Wow, things are escalating quickly. All right, it is six something o'clock. It's time to set the mood. Let's do this. Christmas jazz. My hair looks crazy right now. But honestly, if your hair doesn't look crazy, are you even having a good time reading? So apparently, the night court has not been touched. This, there's a city, it hasn't been touched. And Ryzen has like 5,000 houses. So much of the places that Feyre has been are like broken down, like destroyed by the wars and everything. So it's kind of nice to read. And I really, really am curious to see how Ryzen managed to protect his city. Dude, when Tamlin realizes that Feyre is gone, that's going to be juicy. That's going to be juicy. <laughs> oh, this book is too good. This series is too good. So Feyre and Rice are at the House of Wind and he told her one truth and she has to tell him one truth now. And she said, I'm thinking that I was a lonely, hopeless person and I might've fallen in love with the first thing that showed me a hint of kindness and safety. And I'm thinking maybe he knew that. Maybe not actively, but maybe he wanted to be that person for someone. And maybe that worked for who I was before. Maybe it doesn't work for who, who what I am now. Just flip the script. That's fine. Oh, Lord. Luckily, I like rice. Luckily, I like him. Time for a quick dinner break. We have some lemon pepper wings and fries. All right, I'm going to finish reading for the night. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I feel like my hair has looked crazier and crazier as this vlog has progressed. But we're pulling an all-nighter tonight and we are finishing this book. So. Right now it's 8.18, so we'll see how long it takes me to finish. I'm currently on page 243 out of like 624, so <laughs> more than half of the book to go. Price and Feyre are so cute, oh my god. They are back in the mortal lands and they went to go see the sisters to see if they could use the house as a meeting place to meet with the queens. And they were just like, you know, going to sleep and talking and it's just like, they're so cute. Rice is Tamlin who? Don't know who that is. I've taken a shower and changed since the last clip, but I'm on page 277 and Feyre has just sent a letter back to Tamlin Letting him know, I left of my own free will. I'm cared for and safe. I'm grateful for all that you did for me, all that you gave. Please don't come looking for me. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I just wish we could get some insight into like what Tamlin is thinking or like what he's doing, what's happening. Like I want to know what happens when he gets this letter. It's 2.06 in the morning. I'm on page 404. And I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. I don't know. I feel like I'm racing against time, but it's so good. But I just think tiredness is going to win out at some point, but let's see. 
it's the next day because i went to sleep at 5 30 last night i tried so hard to finish but i just reached a breaking point where my eyeballs were ready to like fall out because i was so tired my eyes were tired so i had to call it quits so at 5 30 i went to sleep and now i have 70 pages left this much left but i have so much to catch you guys up on I have so much to comment on, like a few big things have happened. So I definitely want to recap, but first I need to go to the grocery store, get some coffee creamer so I can make some coffee at home because I had a Starbucks caramel brulee latte yesterday that tried to kill me. It literally tried to take me out of the game. Like I'm still not feeling well, but yeah, I can't, I can't go through that again. So I need to go get coffee creamer so I can make my own coffee here at home and finish up these last few pages. But yeah, guys, I, this book, this book, so good. I'm so happy I read it. I'm back home now. So let me catch you guys up on what I read about last night. So last night, the big events that I went through are that Favor got Rice's origin story which was really interesting because it definitely painted like a whole different picture of Ryzen. And also they started communicating with her sisters and using um, their house to communicate with the mortal queens or whatever they're called, like the queens of the mortal world or something. Then what also happened is they went to the court under the mountain. So the, the court of nightmares, that scene was the best scene it was so good oh my gosh that scene has to probably be one of my favorite like probably number one favorite scene because the thing is you knew they were acting but it was just it was just too good so absolutely mm -hmm. loved that scene and then lucian tracked Feyre down in the forest when she was training with Rizand and tried to bring her back to uh, Tamlin and she's like no I'm not going so that was crazy because I was so curious to see like what happened after Tamlin found out that she left and went to the night court? And apparently things are like not going well in the spring court. And we got so much background on the spring court and like who Tamlin really is and like how his family really is. And it just, it's not looking good for him. Then there was the whole scene where Rice got shot out of the sky and like they were saved his life and everything. And that's when she found out because she had to capture the cereal to find out like, how she could save rice from the poison from the um ash arrows and she found out that they were mates the story of how he knew that they were mates was so sweet it's so crazy how he was painted one way in the beginning and like now you know like who he truly is and how he truly is and it's just like i love that for Feyre. i really do and i can't wait for tamlin to find out that they're mates so that he can leave them alone but now they just got the second half of the book from the mortal queens. So we're gonna see what happens next. I don't know. The King of Hybern's forces have found out about Valeris. And you know what? I knew it was such a bad idea for them to use that as the proof of Rice's goodness. Like I, I knew it was a bad idea. They're at Hybern now. I'm just so nervous. Like my heart is, is just like pounding right now because I'm just so nervous. No way, no way, no way, no way. No way. Dude, Lucian and Tamlin made a deal with the King of Hyrule. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and now Elaine and Lucian are mates. I hate this book. I hate this book. Why would Feyre break the bond? Why would she do that? Why? Oh my god. I'm unwell. You know what? You know what? I'm unwell. But I'm about to cry. Oh my god, this book, this book is a masterpiece. And just like that, I'm done. It's insane how good that was. Oh my god, let me find some better lighting so that I can talk to you guys. I just want to wrap up this vlog, guys. This book, this book is six stars, okay? Six stars for me. This book was so amazing. There were so many plot twists that I did not see coming. This book is actually a masterpiece. Thank you so much for coming along this journey with me. But I am going to be posting another vlog and it's going to be me reading A Court of Wings and Ruin, which I'm literally about to start right now. So stay tuned for that if you want to see 
my reactions to the next book. It was so good, guys. But yeah, thank you for watching. As always, you can find me on Goodreads. I update it very, very frequently. And you can also find me on TikTok. I've been more active on there lately. So there's some stuff on there to actually look at now. But yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. When you're not here, the sun don't shine When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're